Hello there, my name is Lance Prado and I'm bringing you this super urgent cryptocurrency update. Now, this is one of those videos that you really want to watch till the end to stay updated and aware of what's going on in the markets. And before we get into this juicy stuff, please do like the video, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I make a new upload. Now, as of right now, everybody is saying that Bitcoin is breaking out, it's looking so amazing and we are all going along with huge leverage. But Thomas Crawlow, I'm saying that hold your horses, be very careful because there are a few worrying signs that I want to discuss and I want to also tell you my current price target and what am I going to be looking for uh, to actually go all in in a huge long trade on Bitcoin, you know, predicting and seeing a real reversal, which at this point, in my personal opinion, is not visible just yet. And just remember, if you want to be trading, I mean, actively, and uh, if you want to be taking these scope trades that I've been taking and making a few thousand dollars here and there, it certainly is possible with uh, short stops, very tight risk and money management, that's fine. Now, I'm going to be talking about this huge reversal, a huge trade where you can put in a lot of money, etc. And just remember, this is not a financial advice. Please be an experienced trader if you're going to be putting your own capital at risk. I'm simply uh, showing what I'm seeing here. And if you want to be trading with a good exchange that has no stupid KYC stuff, then look no further than Bybit. And I'm personally using Bybit and I have more than a quarter million dollars for just active trading with Bybit. And down in the description of this video, you'll find my exclusive link that you can use to open your own Bybit account and get up to $4,100 in free bonuses of real money for your trading. And also right now they have a limited offer with these exclusive link uh, to get up to a 30% discount on your commission fees, which is incredible if you're trading actively. So use my link down in the description. Now, so what do we have here right now? We have this falling wedge, this good old falling wedge. And then we actually uh, saw this fake out and we were expecting a move downward in this direction. That's when I had a short trade here, which uh, I got kicked out of uh, with just a profit of $2,000, which is still good. But I was hoping to see a lower move downward and make at least ten to $12,000 on it. Didn't happen, but that's okay. So as of right now, Bitcoin is actually following S&P 500 because S&P 500 in the past few days is going upward. So so and uh, recovering a little bit from the drop again, which is normal and Bitcoin is slowly dragging along as well. So and that's why we finally actually closed this candle right here. This one closed above this resistance, uh, which used to be the support in this falling wedge, which is a bullish sign. And I have to agree. And if we take a look at the volume, we certainly see some volume here as well. So that's really nice. But before we jump into any conclusions, let me show you what I'm seeing here besides that. And that is uh, this very important metric, which we've seen before, which I used to predict one of the previous dumps uh, that happened. And this is very, very, very important. So let me quickly move here. Let me just adjust the screen a little bit so you see the, uh, all the markings and here we see this whale activity so this is the exchange veil whale ratio and here uh, let's quickly let me quickly show you um now this one let me quickly this one right here so the whale uh, the exchange whale ratio and here is the explanation so the ex so that you don't take my own word for it so the exchange whale ratio uh, is the relative size of the top 10 inflow transactions uh, to total inflows um, in the bull market and this is important in the bull market it often keeps below 85 percent and on the other hand in the bear market or fake bull um, uh, for a mass dumping or fake bull for mass dumping, which is, you know, very, very important right now, uh, it usually keeps above 85%. So let's go to it right now and take a look. Where are we? Here is 85% guys and girls. And we are very close to the close to like all time high uh, in this reading right here at about 89 or let's say 90%. And it keeps increasing. And as you might remember right here, when we actually had this peak, it was followed by the drop. And now we have another peak, which is even higher, which theoretically, if you're just looking at this exchange wheel ratio, which of course is not enough to make um, uh, predictions, but nonetheless, this is not a bad indicator, which again could be followed by another drop to our target of 30, uh, bearish target of $30,000, which to be honest is quite worrying at this time. Every time we saw the peak in this move downward, every time we saw a peak, it was followed by a drop. Then we had this peak right here, a drop. 
Now we have even a higher peak and this could again lead to a drop. And let's go back into the history and let's see our, um, for example, here, the beginning of this bull market right here. Actually, we had the peak of at about 87, which is a bit lower than now. But then as we entered into the bull market, it actually kept below 85, just as uh, shown in the uh, explanation. And then only in this point right here at our pre at the current all time high, we started seeing spikes above 85. And then again, uh, see how le it's increasing linearly. So this is not not a good sign for Bitcoin right now. So you have to be extremely cautious. So let's go um, into smaller uh, time frames right here. And actually, one of the things as well, which is happening right now, just in terms of fundamentals, really wanted to mention in this video, just to throw in an extra bonus for you guys and girls. So please do like the video for a small bonus. And this is this thing right here. So the state senator uh, in Arizona introduces a bill to make Bitcoin legal tender in Arizona. So um, this is quite interesting. So they are actually, this is a good thing for Bitcoin. However, I, this uh, could be, this could uh, age not that really well because um, it's, it says, um, it's outlined right here that uh, whether such a law could go into effect is questionable. And it really is. Given that the United States Constitution does not allow individual states to create their own legal tender. That's uh, this, that, that's why I'm not really sure how you know big this really news is. Number one, the bill has to pass Arizona State Senate and the House uh, before and the House before the governor uh, Doug Ducey or whatever a Republican could actually sign it into law. But is it at this time in this current situation is it gonna pass the House? That's your your guess is as good as mine. So don't really think that this is an amazing good news for Bitcoin. So just in my personal opinion, my two cents on this huge news. So uh, right now, let's take a look at a smaller time frame and see what we can find in the uh, hourly chart. And this is something that everybody's talking about. We had this uh, interesting squeeze right here. And also we had a very strong level right here. And as you can see, we had this beautiful squeezing, which was happening for quite a while that actually led to um, here, led to the break of our, finally the break uh, of our, uh, this resistance right here and the break above um, this level right here, which has been uh, quite an important piece of resistance for us for quite some time and now in the immediate short term. Uh, and so that's why we can actually say that we finally broken above it. But let's take a look at the volume here. And uh, guys and girls, this is not really looking that very interesting at the moment. Again, anything can happen. We can suddenly see volume here going upward. But uh, as of right now, I'd be very, very careful with what I'm doing. Because for me to actually believe in the structure to not be some kind of a short squeeze, which it could be, we could see some kind of a move down, which could be actually a great shorting opportunity to go back into the short with a target of $30,000, again, with a very short stop loss and proper risk and money management. And you can do it all over and buy a bit and uh, do it properly with very good liquidity and link to a $4,100 bonus down in the description. And what am I personally looking for as of right now? And that is, I'm not gonna, uh, we certainly are going back, let me turn off the volume. We certainly are going back into this channel right here, this falling wedge, which we really want to see what's going to happen in this wedge right now. Taking some short term uh, trades is fine, just uh, keeping proper risk and money management. But the thing is that we really uh, have to break out of this wedge going above to find it like we had a fake out here, uh, fake out here. Uh, we really want to break out of this wedge. So as of right now, if the price moves like this, then our target is about $39,000 at the very best. And then we want to see, in case if you want to be longing the market, which is quite dangerous right now, uh, in a like a, a longer perspective, with a longer perspective and a longer expectation. So, and maybe we'll be squeezing it here uh, and then finally breaking above it and actually closing above this wedge. This could be an, a first very cool bullish sign and we want to see volume. And um, yeah, then this could be quite interesting. And this is where I would be considering to put in a huge trade for myself with a uh, very long 
a stop and a long expectation. You know, uh, so this could be quite interesting. But uh, remember that Bitcoin is currently following S&P 500 very much as well. So you have to pay attention to S&P as well, by the way. So uh, and here. Uh, our next target would be uh, once we break out of it, if we do break above uh, $39,000, then certainly our next target is going to be 40000 500 which was a very important support that we had here then certainly 42 46 and then 52 right here so is it is this break with pretty much not that very much volume right now enough knowing that we have this kind of whale activity right here Again, short-term perspective, yes, you can take small trades here and there and make some good money like I'm making it, but be careful with just jump, jumping into a huge long trade. This could be a trap. So just this is my two cents. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like the video and also comment as much as possible so that we get this video out into the algorithms and educate people on the matter of Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and staying smart in the market. Stay rich and best of luck in the markets. Cheerio!